Coach, uh, go ahead. All righty. Um, great college football game. Credit to Oregon and Mario. Uh, played a wonderful game. Uh, very good game plan, and the kids uh, played with great heart, as well as our team. Uh, I've never been associated with a group of kids that fight harder or have more heart. Um, uh, there's a lot of hurt, hurt souls uh, in our locker room right now, uh, and it's uh, it's something that uh, I know that um, our kids wanted uh, extremely badly uh, to win a championship. And we came up uh, a play too short uh, today. Um, you know, these kids have taken us and laid uh, a stepping stone, uh, a foundation uh, to uh, what a championship team is going to look like. And I'm proud uh, of our older kids and our veterans um, that uh, one for the way they played, uh, but two, um, where they've got us to, which is on the edge of winning championships. Uh, and based on the lessons that we've learned uh, from this season, I know that we'll take a step forward in the future. Um, with that, I'll uh, answer any questions that you have. Okay, we'll start with Pete Arbogas. Hey, Coach, no excuses, of course, but in a championship game, the little things mean a lot, and, and most of those little things tonight did not go your way. Was there, in your mind, a real key that turned this game in the favor of the Oregon Ducks? Uh, you know, Pete, we were fighting for one more possession, and we actually got it, you know, with four minutes four minutes and uh, 30 seconds left. Uh, it was right where, you know, we've, we've known to be. And, uh, and actually told our kids that, you know, if, if, if the clock is way low, we're probably going to go for two here too. Um, but we were in position, uh, even with the mistakes that we made in the ball games, especially the turnovers. Um, you can't do that with a good football team. Uh, it's only for our kids' heart and toughness and willingness to fight back uh, that we put ourselves in position uh, to go tie the game at the end. And that's all you could ask for after, you know, being down like we were in the first half. And uh, this time around, uh, we didn't get it done. There's no excuses. You know, we don't make excuses. But uh, credit to kids. They fought their butts off. Sean Cody. Coach, a, a tough one here uh, in the Coliseum. Uh, you know, you look at the quarterback play of Keaton Slovis and uh, an up and down night tonight. You get the turnovers, the interceptions. Coach, in your estimation, what, what, what was the, led to the interceptions? You guys done a pretty good job of, of, you know, taking care of the ball all year. What was, what broke down the interceptions? Uh, you know, just going back and thinking about them, you know, the, the first one, um, the corner did a nice job setting on a, on a comeback route. Um, that uh, were thrown at the TV, ran the comeback, and the kids sat on it, made a nice play. Uh, the last one, uh, I really think Keaton was trying to throw that ball away, and it uh, looked like it came out of his hand a little funky, and, and, uh, and their kid made a nice play on the sideline. Uh, didn't necessarily get to see the review, but, um, but it, uh, um, you know, kid made a nice play. So uh, I, know, I know he was trying to get that ball out of bounds. Game show now down in the locker room with Coach Helton and a couple of the players. I haven't seen which players they are, but we'll try to let you know when we can. Okay, we'll go to uh, Ryan Young, please. Hey, what, what, where's this season going from here? Are you hoping to play in the bowl game and get one more chance for this game? Ryan, I, I'll be honest with you. I haven't thought one second past this, past this game. Uh, and... Those are things to talk about in the future. Right now, I'm going to console my kids. I mean, we've been in a we've been in a mindset like you know you followed us all season. It's been try to be one and out all week and don't look back, don't look forward. And and right now, I got a bunch of kids that just gave their absolute heart and soul that are hurt. And uh, I'm going to focus on that. And I'm not going to worry about what's in the future right now. But um, I'll be honest with you, I haven't thought about it. Mark. Coach, I know it's a tough loss for the players as well. Um, heading into the game, you guys had a really good week of practice. Uh, do you feel like they, they, they were prepared for the game? Uh, the thing that I love about our football team is no matter what the situation, um, they come to work every day. They're blue collar. And, you know, uh, even when, you know, they 
it, we have to do a 180 in the middle of the week. Uh, you know, they did the things to be prepared for tonight. Um, their preparation uh, was great uh, all week. I mean, uh, whether it was walkthroughs in the morning, practices in the afternoon, they did whatever it took to put them themselves in a position to win tonight. Uh, you know, we we put we had an opportunity and, and we didn't make it happen this time around. Ryan Karchi. Drake, obviously you guys got that last chance to tie it up. Uh, heading into that drive, what was the vibe of the offense? Or could you tell that everyone seemed to continue to believe kind of like they had all season? Uh, yeah, it was pretty much the same thing. Um, we didn't have any doubt at all. Uh, we believed in each other and we just tried to go out there and execute. And unfortunately, we just ended up short. Adam Grossbard. For the players, just how frustrating is it in a one possession game to have so many of those self-inflicted mistakes, whether it's turnovers or penalties or things like that? Um, I would say, you know, it was an emotional game. You know, coach always says when emotions go up, intelligence goes down. So, I mean, you know, things happen, and I think we just have to lock in in the moments and really just um, be in the game and just, you know, be smart. Uh, Rashawn Haylock. Hey, Coach. Uh, what were just some of the difficulties going up against uh, that front? It looked like Keaton was under duress all night long. Oh, well, that's a talented front, and uh, we know Kayvon and, and what he can do. And uh, I thought uh, he had tremendous jump off the ball tonight. Um, uh, they, they did some nice things. They got three sacks tonight, uh, but they flushed, uh, they, they flushed uh, Keaton out of the pocket, got him off his spot a bunch. Uh, I, I did think that Keaton did a nice job of keeping his eyes up and downfield and, and creating a lot, uh, uh, you know, after being flushed. Uh, but uh, credit to them. I mean, we knew that they were, they were a good f a football team. We knew, uh, you know, their front was talented, uh, and they played well tonight. Shotgun. Clay, can you give us an update on some of the injuries? Obviously, I'm on Ross, St. Brown didn't finish the game, and then Drake Jackson wasn't on the field for the last couple of drives either. Yeah, um, you know, for us, the, the ones I can tell you right now, it's Amon Rise, uh, got an AC, looks like a pretty good AC sprain. Uh, Keaton uh, is his shoulder, they're x-raying it right now. Um, uh, Drake, I, I, don't, I don't really know about that one, uh, to be honest with you. So uh, those are the, the only two I, I know about right now. I know Raylan uh, was in and out and really fought his butt off uh, with that foot. Uh, I don't know exactly where that's at right now. Okay, we're gonna go uh, three more questions. We'll start with uh, Antonio. Clay, what do you feel is the, are the next steps this program has to take to get back on top of the Pac-12? Um, win, winning a championship. You know, we we put ourselves um, we put ourselves in position, um, and, and our kids are really <laughs> are so are so close. Um, we. We, we have made such strides, uh, you know, over the last, this has been a young group that I've watched grow up. Uh, and if you think about two years ago, the struggles we went through last year, really coming on uh, with Keaton and, and really playing our best ball uh, down, down the stretch of the season. And now this year, winning the Pac-12 South and putting yourself in, uh, in, in a championship game, um, you know, we're, we're judged on championships here. Uh, that, that's the beauty of this place. That's the expectation. That's the standard. That's what we fight for. That's why our the hearts are broken in, in, in that locker room, uh, because that's what that's the only thing we will accept uh, as a team uh, is a championship. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, uh, we're really close, but obviously we didn't get it done tonight. And that's the next step. Bill Plaschke. Yeah, Coach, any explanation for all the penalties, especially in big situations? Yeah, Bill, I, I thought I thought Isaiah hit the nail on the head. You know, our kids had so much emotion and, and played so damn hard that um, it, it was 
it, it was one of those games that uh, you look up and you try to block a punt and you know you run into the kicker or you, you get a, a you get a little bit over emotional play goes a little bit too far and uh, gets pushed back the fact of the matter is you know we had those what I know what we call self-inflicted wounds with turnovers and penalties uh, in this game and uh, uh, to to have nine penalties for 98 yards and three turnovers and, and to be in a game uh, and still have a chance to win it is amazing me speaks to their heart but uh, it's something that uh, we have to learn from in championships games that that can cost you a championship and it did tonight. Take our, our last question from uh, Tookney. For Drake, what did you kind of see from Keaton throughout the game? He obviously started with those interceptions and then what was kind of his temperament and his tone to you to you in the offense as you guys went throughout the game? It's the same every game. Um, there's no doubt uh, we all believe in him. I mean, he's going to have some hiccups here and there, but I mean, it's Keaton Slovis. We all trust in him. Okay, Coach, uh, players, thank you very much for uh, being in here joining us. Media, thank you. Uh, we're going to sign off here and uh, get this recording up on the uh, media center. Thank you. Thank you for covering us, guys. Take care.